Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Yes, you guys have seen it here first. We have the Bugs Bunny King from Target and the FYE Superman Bugs Bunny. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss out. We're gonna unbox these for you guys, get a first look at these bad boys. Also, we got some more San Diego Comic-Con pops in, so I'm excited to show you guys these bad boys. You don't wanna miss out. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on when I drop one of my new videos. Also guys, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, the link is in the description and in the comments. There's a lot of exclusive content on there. All these pops I got from the Pop Guys collectibles. Check them out and unbox them for you guys and show them off. If you guys have not followed Pop Guys collectibles, his link will be in the, the description as well. And he posts on his Instagram and Instagram story. He also has a YouTube channel. So definitely go check him out. You don't want to sleep on these Funko Pops. I also got all my shed exclusives from him for the San Diego Comic Con. So that's pretty exciting. I mean, I got some from Pop Culture as well, but like the ones that are, I'm showing you today, I got from the Pop Guys collectible. Let me go through the uh, the San Diego Comic Con shed exclusives first, and then we'll get into unboxing the Bugs Bunny Funko Pops. So first we got an X-Men Funko Pop, then Nightcrawler. I didn't want this one personally, but I know a lot of people did. And so I am uh, unboxing it for you guys. and then want to show you guys it unbox this bad boy of course it has all of the x-men characters on the back um this is a there's a different nightcrawler so i think all the ones on the back are just common pieces but let's check out but let's check out this uh nightcrawler i kind of i really do want to unbox all these because all these San Diego Comic Con uh, pieces are extremely unique, and uh, this this one has a stand. It bobbles. What more could you ask for? They did a really good job on the. We gotta get it up close and personal on this one. On the artwork on his face, it's basically his scars or his um, brandings on his face. This look really good. That's a good action pose. With the, I don't know what this is. Is this like water or like a blue? Um, a base, yeah, I guess when he when he um, does his his superpower, it's like he goes into this different dimension. I think that's what they're trying to portray with this. It's not bad. It's pretty cool. This is like morphing into his body right here. So it's a pretty cool looking pop. Maybe I shouldn't have slept on this one. I'm glad I got it from the pop guys. Now here's one. Yeah. I'm glad I got this one too, because the artwork on the back, I'm gonna take this one out too, is fantastic. I hate Captain Marvel Funko Pop. I absolutely hate them. I think they're trash. I don't think they look good. And that's my personal opinion. But this one, the Dark Captain Marvel, the San Diego Comic Con, I hope you didn't sleep on because this one is fire. Like, it says no other way around it. The artwork on the back is cool. Um, not a, like I said, not a Captain Marvel fan, but when something's good, you just gotta appreciate the the artwork, the uh, the graphic design on it. Let's uh, let's take this bad boy out real quick and get into it further. This pop has a lot of good stuff going for it. And I will explain that here in a second. So the first thing going for it, obviously, is the bobblehead. I'm not a fan of the mohawk. I think that's what has thrown me off of most of the Captain Marvel pops. But the black and red design, and then like the basically like explosion on the face, and then I don't know what she's carrying right here, but the overall theme, the overall color, it just pops on here, and I really do. I appreciate what they did with I don't even know what the Dark Captain Marvel is I don't even know what it's from if it's from like one of the comic books but um, by far one of my favorite ones of uh, it's the best Captain Marvel they've ever done so I, I didn't think it would stand up is it it's come with a stand yeah it comes with a stand so 
<laughs> you don't have to worry about that, but really good design. I'm gonna have to, it's gonna lay it down right here because it's not gonna stand up. Ooh, I'll save that one for a second. Now, here's the one, uh, Ripley. This is probably going to be one of the least valuable pops of the San Diego Comic Con. Just because, okay, so the reason I say that is because Fortnite pops do not retain value. Um, I don't know the reasoning behind it. I don't know if there's not much hype behind it or, or what, but I'm not gonna unbox this one. Here's all the characters on the back of it. I think this is one of the better looking Fortnite pops. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this one in the box. The other four I'm gonna I will unbox for you guys, but um, I think my favorite is probably Panda Team Leader. But like I said, doesn't retain I don't know what this one's selling for on eBay. I need to do pops on their eyes and figure out um, what these all are going for. But like I said, um, these don't really retain value. Uh, I guess let me know in the comments why you guys think um, that they don't retain value or because I, I really don't have any idea. Also, if you made it this far, far in the video, don't forget to like, comment down below which one of these is your favorite. I think it's gonna be the Bugs Bunnies uh, when, I, when I unbox those. Share this video with your friends. Don't be a blue falcon. <laughs> you don't wanna be that. Um, also subscribe if you're new. But one of the best Hello Kitties that I've seen it's a Hello Kitty robot. And I, I have to unbox this one, but let me show you guys the detail on this Hello Kitty and everything they did with this. They got Japanese lettering going down the back of it, like a little town in the background. Um, really cool. If you are a Hello Kitty, Kitty collector, let me know in the comments if you guys thought this one was like by far one of the best ones you have seen or if it's just like, like where does it rank on your list as far as like Hello Kitty Pops? I don't collect Hello Kitty Pops, but I really did want to check this one out. In my opinion, one of the better ones. Just because of everything that has been, uh, everything that's going on. Okay, let's uh, check this guy. It's almost like Boba Fett from Star Wars. You got the little jetpack. <laughs> this is such a cute looking pop. Uh, I do have a daughter. I think she will love this when she grows up. I kind of want to keep this, keep one of these and um, give it to her when she's older. And I think she will really love this. <laughs> if you are a Hello Kitty fan, you got to pick this one. If you missed out on this one, Man. Okay, I'm done. But cool pop. <laughs> it's actually better than than all the other ones I like uh, I've unboxed so far. I mean, it's I think it's Hello Kitty, uh, Dark Captain Marvel, Nightcrawler, and then Ripley. Okay, The Office, obviously. Obviously, everybody knows. Well, if you've been watching my videos, you know I love The Office. Love Dwight, Jim Halpert, um, Michael Scott. They could have made 20 seasons of this and it would have been popular. Let's check out the box. <sighs> Dwight Schrute as a Cyclops. And there's a lot of detail going on in this box that we gotta go over, so. Um, Let me unbox this bad boy for you. <laughs> this is basically what he's trying to make you. I can't remember what episode or season this is from, but he's trying to make you conserve and uh, recycle and do all these kind of crazy stuff. And D Dwight takes things to the extreme. So obviously he had to create this character of himself called with Cyclops. Um, you got, he has a football pads. We get to see that. Football pads going on there, uniform, got the safety goggles, the one eyed on his helmet, so much going on. And then you got the, uh, this, uh, I don't know what this thing's called, but it's like a letter. Um, it just says conserve on it, but it's, it's, it's cool. 
Yeah, this one beats out these other pops, but super cool. Super, super cool. It's almost like that shouldn't be a San Diego Comic Con because it's so green. I feel like it should be, it should have been an Emerald City Comic Con one. Maybe they kind of like, oh, this is supposed to be Emerald City Comic Con and then we kind of, then it produced it and then let's just throw it in San Diego Comic Con. I, I thought, I feel like they did. <laughs> Honestly, like, because doesn't this look like Emerald City Comic Con Pop? I think 100% it is. Gotcha, Funko. Gotcha. This is supposed to be Emerald City Comic Con. Gotcha. Um, they're like, oh, let's just start on Sunday Air Comic Con. Nobody will notice. Gotcha. Okay, so we got Bugs Bunny King. This is a Target exclusive. And then we got the Bugs Bunny Superman FYE exclusive. Um, this one was up for pre-order. The FYE one has not been up for pre-order yet. This one should be coming soon. August 14th. These already sold out on pre-order. But be ready August 14th to pick these up in stores. These are hitting stores already. Um, and these are uh, August 14th. They should be online again. So just be ready for these Bugs Bunny Kings that, that pop up. I think you can already get these on eBay for like 20, 30 bucks. But... Um, once we sell out, these things will be freaking crazy. Classic Bugs Bunny Looney Tunes. Um, I know I always say Star Wars is, is my favorite line to collect, but I need to start collecting these Looney Tune Pops. Um, fantastic. Wow. Looks great. I, I still need to get, I still want to get the Target ex exclusive one. I've been missing out on that. Like the sometimes their their uh, restocks are like random. They restocked on this one, and it was so freaking random. Like people, some people got really really lucky because they were on the site and it restocked, and they were to pick it up. You got you gotta be fast with this guy. Cause like I said, once they sell out, they are gonna go up in price. Let's look at the box on. I love the 80th anniversary box on these. So the Looney Tunes, they don't have the other lines that are coming out. But I, I do believe they have two other Bugs Bunnies. I think it's like the Dancing Bugs Bunny. Um, and there's like another one that's coming out for the 80th anniversary. Do not sleep on the Bugs Bunny. But you can't beat Bugs Bunny as Superman. You gotta love it. Okay, let's take, and he's eating the cat. <laughs> the King Bugs Bunny should have a carrot in his hand. That's the only thing that the King's Bugs Bunny is missing. Is that he should be have he should have a carrot in his hand. Bug Bunny, bam, 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 bam. I need to have a Looney Tunes marathon. Like a lot of people grew up watching Looney Tunes. Um, Looney Tunes Funko Pops are awesome. I wish I, I haven't started collecting these until now and I need to catch up on them. There's so many good um, Looney, Tune, Looney Tune Funko Pops out there and Bugs Bunny Funko Pops are going to be killing it this year. So don't sleep on any of these, but my favorite pops from today, Superman Bugs Bunny, King Bugs Bunny, with Cyclops, and I'm making a mess over here, but Hello Kitty, Robots. All four great looking pops. I mean, yeah, we did have the Captain Marvel, and we had Nightcrawler, and we had the Ripley. But not as good as these four. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video. Comment down below which one of these you have or are trying to get, and make sure you share this video with your friends don't be a blue falcon and uh, yeah, let them know what's going on here. Subscribe if you're new. Also go check out the Discord. Link is in the, the description and in the comments. Uh, we got the stores guys, big by big, click all the pops. I'll see you next time on another episode. Uh, Funko Pop stops. Peace out. And what was this one? This was like, I don't think I gave a title for this one. Ooh, that's not good. Exclusive look at uh, nah, Bugs Bunny, Funko Pop, Bugs Bunny, Funko Pop unboxing, new 
new Bugs Bunny Funko Pop unboxing. I think that's I think that's what the title should be. New Bugs Bunny Funko Pop unboxing. I don't think I I have to rewatch the video because I don't think I gave this one a title a title at the beginning. Yeah. Oh well. I gotta clean up all this stuff. 